welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog today you join me i'm back at home and i wanted to share some updates in regards to my channel so i'm going to go through a couple of things which have been relevant for me over the last six months and hopefully they'll be of relevance to you also now one of the first things i want to go through is an update in regards to something that i've been working on for the last number of months and i'm very proud of what i've achieved and that is my photography location guidebooks in fact today my seventh book comes out and it's on my own home county which is Cork. I'm going to split that into two so I'm going to have Cork and I'm also going to have West Cork. So I'm working on West Cork right now but the Cork guide goes live today and it's jam-packed full of some incredible locations. So far my books have been very very popular and thank you to everybody who has downloaded a copy and all of the feedback that I've received as well. It really helps me to be able to encourage me as well to know that I'm on the right track and that there's benefit for you guys. So if you want to pick up a copy I'll link with them here or my latest guide goes live today and like I said it's on Cork and I want to give you a bit more detail on West Cork because West Cork is a phenomenal location and a location that is going to be really really interesting for me to put together and I hope for everybody to be able to purchase and to visit there's some incredible locations in West Cork and I really really can't wait to be able to show you the diversity and the stunning areas that we have in the very outskirts of Cork on the western side right on the Atlantic so that will be coming in a couple of weeks I can't wait to share that with you but yeah go and have a look at the other ones if you want in the meantime and I would really appreciate it if you picked one up because it really does help me to keep the channel alive now another update that I want to share with you is as my keys fall now another update I wanted to share with you is in regards to my van and as you know I picked my van up back in February and it has been an absolute game changer as far as my photography is concerned and it also helps me to be able to get around to the locations to be able to film what I need to film now I was planning on having another book uh, available by now which is on an area that I visited last year with Dermot and with Patrick an absolutely stunning area full of photographic opportunities and that is the Antrim coast however as I was driving up I was getting past Belfast and all of a sudden I put my foot on the clutch and went straight to the floor I couldn't change gear I was in a very dangerous predicament I managed to get the van to the side of the road happened to me around half past two I got picked up at half past five so I couldn't get anywhere so I ended up staying in the van in overnight in Belfast just outside where the garage was that I was hoping to be able to fix my van when I got into them it wasn't something small I still don't know what it is because it happened actually three weeks ago and for the last three weeks my van has been parked up at home because I can't drive it I managed to get it from Belfast to Cork which is a long long journey for anybody who knows that and I drove it in fourth gear at 90 kilometers an hour the whole way down hoping that I wouldn't have to change gear that often because I could manage to fasten um, a bit of tie wrap around that and pull that and to be able to push the uh, clutch back out but my own garage now is not available until next week so I've been quite stranded for the last number of weeks and I haven't been able to get out but that being said I hope it's something small and I can manage to get the van back on the road and speaking of the van I've made a couple of adjustments actually now that I'm nearly six months into I got it in February we're in August right now so almost six months of ownership of the van and I've made a couple of adjustments to kind of give me a bit more flexibility and some creature comforts so as you will know I have my fridge that's always been there I got that from Dermot I've also got my cooking equipment my table uh, I've got a kettle and everything else that allows me to be able to be on the fly and do whatever I need to do Got a couple of creature comforts like a few um, Drinks holders. I also got a very interesting holder for my iPad I can attach it to the wall of the van and I can also as well attach it to the ceiling Which gives me great flexibility when I want to be able to work in different uh, locations on top of that what I've also done is got a couple of extra lights you can probably see some uh, LEDs that are around here which is nice be able to have that if I want to be able to have some ambient lighting and um, the curtains were already within the van I've also got a nice floor entry automatic light for when I walk in it actually turns on so that's really really nice as well and I also got something which is quite interesting and I'll give you a look at it now which is this 
and this is a power unit from FJD Dynamics. I actually received it to do a review in it. I'll do that again, but it's a really, really interesting piece of kit because it allows me to be able to power everything that I need with ease. So yeah, I'll do another video in relation to that because it's a very, very interesting um, piece of equipment. But yeah, my van has been something now which has really, really helped me quite a lot. Um, one thing as well in the warm weather, I have here, which is a fan. I also as well have a um, blindfold, if you want to call it that. So it just blocks out any of the light, even though the curtains are dark, just in case in the summertime it gets bright early and if I don't want to get up for a sunrise. And then I also as well have a thermostat so that I know exactly what the temperature in the van is. But yeah, there's a kind of a quick updates, my personalizations that I've done since getting it. And like I said, it has been a game changer when I can actually drive it for me so far. Something else that I started this year and I'm really, really enjoying it is one-to-one -one tuitions. Now they've gone extremely well. The people that I've met with have been absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for everybody that has booked a session with me. I have a number now as well that are actually booked in in the next coming months. So I'll be busy with those as well. But it's great to be able to see the locations that I frequent quite a lot through the eyes of somebody who hasn't seen them before or somebody who has seen them before but can now find new compositions. If you'd like to attend a one-to-one -one private tuition session with me in some fantastic locations, click on the link below and I'd love to hear from you. And something else that I started this year, which I'm really, really excited about and I enjoy quite a lot, is I'm now a staff writer for F Stoppers. And F Stoppers is a website that I'm familiar with and I have read a number of articles over the years. And now to be part of that team and adding content as well, which I feel is hugely beneficial to the audience that's reading it and the photography community has been amazing. Here's one example of the article that I wrote about my fantastic morning that I had in Gugambara. And it allows me to be able to recant lessons that I've learned and also views that people could also benefit in their own photography journey. I I've had a number of articles that have been published so far and I have a lot more as well now that I've written and are scheduled to go out during the month of August and I'm really excited to continue that and to see how that can help me grow my own exposure but also help everybody else who reads the articles to get an insight into how I would think but also help their photography. Now, earlier this year, I shared that I was actually going to have a procedure on my back to help me be able to be more mobile. And that has worked fantastically well. However, because I've got that extra movement, I thought I was younger than I actually was. So one day I was out with my friends and I actually was playing a game of basketball, of all things. I jumped to catch the ball. And when I landed, I landed extremely badly. And I damaged the ligaments, I think, inside my ankle. Now, I never went to get it checked. I'm a typical guy. But I was rendered inoperable for around about four or five days. I could walk on it thereafter, so I don't think anything was broken, but it actually has limited me now in relation to what I can walk and also what I can hike. I'm sure over time it is going to uh, repair itself, but it was quite a nasty injury. I won't give you a look at the damage that was done to my ankle, but trust me, it wasn't a nice picture. Now, because of my injury and also the summer months I was in holidays with my family, I actually haven't been out shooting in almost one and a half months. The last time I was out shooting was when I got those glorious conditions in Gugambara. That was right at the summer solstice and I haven't been out shooting since. So I'm kind of really itching to get out. The van obviously hasn't helped me in regards to that and like I said, the holidays that got in the way, but I can't wait to get back out. And more importantly, what it has taught me was the last six episodes that I released were all made in less than 24 hours. I arrived at the location at one o'clock in the afternoon and the following morning I was home again by 10.30 a.m. And during that time I got some incredible content, some great images, some great footage and I really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, that's been me for the last 1.5 months anyway. Now, my photography here, as you can see on YouTube, is growing almost exponentially and it's really, really interesting for me to see and amazing for me to also be able to experience the growth that's coming on my channel. I only started my YouTube channel, for those of you that know that, as a kind of a joke, but it actually has continued now to grow and I'm delighted with the community that we've created and thank you to everybody who has watched my videos and gets the benefit from following along on my adventures. Now, I'm almost at 5,000 subscribers, which is absolutely 
absolutely amazing. And on top of that, my views is nearly at 500,000 views. And again, it's amazing for me to think that there's 500,000 people have watched my videos. Well, not necessarily people, but my videos have been watched 500,000 times. It is fantastic. I'm excited to be able to bring you all along as my own journey will continue as well. The last couple of months have been really, really interesting. More on that in a moment. But I'm excited now about what's to come as well because I've got some great plans going ahead. So thank you very much to you for watching and for everybody as well who has commented or liked or shared my content. I love having the chats in the comments. And if you want to have a chat with me at any time, I'm always available. So a big thank you from me to you. Now, I haven't been lying idle. I have been quite busy in a lot of other areas as well. And I've been working on some really, really interesting collaborations that I'm planning for 2024. I'm not going to give you any information on right now, but let's just say that they are going to be fantastic collaborations. And I've also got a very interesting one coming up next month. There's somebody going to be visiting Ireland who I've wanted to visit for quite a long time. And I can't wait actually to meet up with them and to show them the beauty that we have around. So stay tuned in relation to that. I'm also working on some personal projects as well, which I hope to be able to bring to the channel because not only are they going to benefit me, but I think they can also benefit you in your own photography journey. So yeah, stay tuned to the updates and new collaborations that I've been working on in the background details coming soon. So quite a lot of updates there. I think you'd agree. Thank you very much for joining me for this week. I hope to be back out in the field again pretty soon. I am going to make a video on that power bank that I showed you in the van. It's a phenomenal piece of kit. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a like, a comment and a share. If you enjoy what you saw here today, I'd recommend watching this video here. And until the next time, Schlange Fall.